Hey guys, Jaggy here, and as you can see, we're doing a little Halloween look today. This is the super quick and easy Scarecrow makeup. So in case you wanna be a Scarecrow, I'm gonna show you how to get this done. And yeah, if you like tutorials, makeup, shop with me, hauls, beauty related things, then make sure you hit that subscribe button so YouTube will let you know when I create videos. And if you want them to tell you as soon as my video is uploaded, make sure you hit that little bell so you can become part of the hashtag notification nation and YouTube will alert you as soon as my videos go up. And uh, yeah, if you like this video and you found it helpful, make sure you hit that like button because it really helps me out. And yeah, with all that being said, now I'm gonna show you how to create this super simple Halloween look. Okay, so you're probably going to hear squeaks and squeals from my dryer in the background or possibly my washer. I did shut the bathroom door, but I mean, you hear everything through these walls in this house. Literally, I just heard the neighbors talking. So you may also hear that. So, but today, yes, as you heard, we are gonna do a very quick, very easy scarecrow look. So first I'm going to take my Mirage palette. I don't know, nice affordable little palette there. And I'm going to do my eyes. I use, um, I just threw on concealer for lid primer and I did throw on foundation and a little bronzer just to give my face a little something. You don't have to use foundation or bronzer if you don't want. It is totally up to you, but if you do want to, throw on your foundation and your bronzer first and then get crack a lacking into all these other things. So. Okay, get some brushes here. Oy, oy, oy. Um, so I'm just, I'm gonna take this lovely bright orange and I'm just going to use that very lightly as a transition shade. And this is such a simple, like easy look, guys. I mean, I looked on Pinterest for ideas and I mean, you can look on Pinterest. There are so many ideas. I just went on there, looked real quick, and then was like, all right, I get the gist. And yeah, now I'm just showing you how I would do it if I was dressing up as a scarecrow. I would also have a flannel on, but I don't own a flannel other than like a tank top flannel thing, which, no, it's too cold. So yeah, throw on a little flannel, uh, like straw hat. I don't own one of those either. Never been a scarecrow before, so don't own any of that. But yeah, to go with, you know, the look. Okay, I'm gonna go in with this orangey right there, and I'm gonna put that in the crease to deepen that up, cause that is quite bright for this look, but I did just want a little bit of that orangey look, you know, to transition. So, throwing this in the crease, a little in the outer corner, a little. The outer corner. It's kind of like a simple like fall type of look, you know, but with orange. So like that. Um, and then you can go into like a nice you don't have to use a shimmer. You could just do that and put that all over the lid and like add a little like dark brown to deepen up the outer corner if you want. I like to be dramatic and fancy. 
I'm going to take that shimmer orange, orange ugh, and pop that on the lid with my finger. And that is going to be my lid color. So yeah, kind of take your finger, rub it on the lid. Grab a wipe or something to wipe that off on. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in the outer corner just a hair. I know, I'm so dramatic. I can't help it. I just, I can't help it. But I'm gonna go in the outer corner with a little of this dark brown just to deepen up the outer corner a little bit. Just a little bit, just a Tap it in, tap it off. Just make this a little deeper. I know you can hear my washer. I know it because it is loud out here and I have my microphone. And I know you can hear my dryer because it's, I can hear it out here and I have my microphone on. So I need a little more of that orange. Didn't quite get where I wanted it right there. There we go. Okay, so that is that. Quickly wipe under here a little bit. And you know what? If you want, you don't have to. You can just take that brown and just rub it along the bottom lash line. Just to throw a little something on the bottom. Okay, now I'm just gonna put on mascara. I'm not even gonna bother with like eyeliner or anything. This is just, oh, quick, easy eye look to go with. This is the Believe Beauty Voluminized Mascara, in case you were wondering. I usually don't do laundry while I film, but um, I was kind of thinking of things that I had to do this week, and I was like, I kind of got to film like now. Okay, so now I'm going to take a fluffy, um, a fluffy eyeshadow brush you can use a fluffy eyeshadow brush or a small like face brush any type of brush and I'm gonna go into this orange color that we put in the crease this one right there and I'm going to actually put that on my nose If you have a color corrector that is orange as well, you can also use that, but most people don't have the color corrector. They have eyeshadow. So we're gonna use eyeshadow. So there's that. And then you want to do circle of shadow on your cheek, right where your apples of your cheek are. So if you need to. Do a little smile and create a circle. This is super simple. That is really orange, <laughs> but it's supposed to be. So, yeah. You don't want it that orange you can always use less or blend it out more just using a fluffy eyeshadow brush just to show this is so easy you could use a blush brush and just you know tab it on right there any brush will work I'm actually going to go in with a powder brush and kind of just Blend it a little. I'm 
so it's there but it's also kind of blended not just like bam you know what i mean blend the edges same with the nose okay now on my forehead i'm going to kind of just do a little little triangle like do 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 don't worry this is gonna make sense i promise in two minutes it'll make sense all right nice little triangle there okay and then take a black eyeliner i usually use wet n wild black pencil eyeliner because um cheap and I don't like using it as an eyeliner so I've been using it to kind of use it up so you're gonna draw around the orange you put on your nose kind of like a teardrop shape mm -hmm. And then you can put a couple of lines like it was sewn, like it's a patch of some kind. You know what I mean? Like that. And then you're gonna outline that triangle you made. And then you're also going to put lines or X. Well, it kind of looks like X's regardless, you know. So that also looks like a nice little patch. And then you're gonna wanna put on a lipstick. I'm going to use, nope. Nope, hold on, I will find it. Is it this one? Peachy Keen by Gerard Cosmetics. It is a nude, but it's a peachy nude, so it kind of goes with, hello. Look a little bit. You can use orange if you wanted to. It is up to you. Anything you want to do. You can use red. You can use any lip color you want. Will work. I am just quickly throwing this on. So I can take the eyeliner and draw. Wanna smile a little bit? Draw a line. Both sides. And then we want to put little X's, like it was sewn, lines. I like the X's a little better. That is it. You can add another triangle if you want. You don't have to, but you can. That's it, guys. That's it. You're a scarecrow. Throw on a hat. Throw on a flannel. You're a scarecrow. Throw some hay in your hair if you want to. If you really want to go that far with it, go ahead. But guess what? We're done. This took me 14, 15 minutes. If you had the foundation, probably at the most 20 minutes. And I'm a scarecrow. So hopefully this video was helpful to you. If it was, don't forget to like this video. It helps me out a lot. And uh, yeah, hopefully you will come back and tune in for other videos. And I also hope that you have a wonderful day.